Today, let's talk about why I use both DevonThink and Obsidian, because they are very similar tools. They can both handle files, different file types like audio, PDF, images. They can both handle Wikilink, deep linking, but I don't use them for the same thing. I use them for two distinct purposes. Buckle up. Let's start by talking about what DevonThink is awesome at. One of the things that it's got over Obsidian is automation. So the automation rules in DevonThink let me set up a rule uh, uh, to watch a Dropbox folder. And in that Dropbox folder, my receipts go for the year. And when I scan a receipt with Scanner Pro, I just fire off a, an action in Scanner Pro. It sends it off to the folder and that gets automatically filed in my 2020 receipts for DevonThink. No more needed for me, I just, I'm just done. Obsidian would not do that. Another cool feature that DevonThink has that Obsidian just doesn't have is its heuristic analyzation of files. So it uses what they call see also. And under the see also feature on Mac OS only, let's note that Mac OS only, it will actually show you other files that are similar to the one you're looking at. And it'll give you like kind of an idea of how much it matches with a little colored bar. That's cool. What it doesn't do though is it's only, or what it does do is it's only going to show you files that like textually match up with each other. So they use the same words in the same ways. It's not going to show you something where the idea is the same and the words are different. But that also, it's been useful to have this feature um, for me when I'm doing writing, when I'm just looking at research, old stuff I've collected and something comes up and say, hey, what else relates to this? And I found that I was, oh, I wrote about it before uh, because I also index my entire site in that because my site is just markdown files and I can index an external folder uh, and just find, oh, I wrote about this already. I linked this already. I used this title already. So that's useful to me as well. Something Obsidian does not have. I also have found that the offline viewing, so being able to save a web page offline, other content offline, is just better for DevonThink, right? With DevonThink, uh, and I'll link up above to my article or my video on how to capture content in DevonThink to go. Um, but I can save it as a web archive, a web archive where it takes away some of the clutter, markdown file, or a markdown file where it takes away some of the clutter thus giving me my own read it later service again, which I'll link up above. And Obsidian does have, or some people have built little tools to strip a page and put it into Markdown and put it into Obsidian, but it just, it's not as nice, that's it. Just not as nice, it doesn't offer you all the options. Uh, I can even like grab a page and convert it later, right? So I can start with a page as a web archive and convert it to a Markdown file after in DevonThink and Obsidian just doesn't have those things. Ultimately, DevonThink is a collection bucket for things that may end up in Obsidian. I have lots of stuff in DevonThink that will never see Obsidian. I look at it later and I'm like, eh, it's interesting. I might want to find it in the future, but ultimately not what I'm looking for or not something that is developing my own thoughts. All right, so where Obsidian shines. While I can put PDFs in it and other files, I don't actually. I have a couple kicking around just for screencasts, for videos to show you what I'm doing, but ultimately I don't do anything with that type of stuff. I don't even store full text articles in Obsidian. For me, the only thing that goes in Obsidian is my own thinking, my own notes on stuff I have read or consumed in some fashion. That's it. Nothing else. I find it's far too easy for someone to collect a bunch of articles, a bunch of mark, convert them to Markdown or turn them into PDFs and store them in Obsidian. And they collect them all and they think, oh, I'm increasing my knowledge when they're really just collecting a bunch of crap that they haven't thought about. This is where I talk about my collector versus connector, right? A connector is really connecting the ideas. A collector is just collecting a bunch of crap to tell themselves that they're increasing their knowledge. I don't really think you are a lot of times if you're just collecting all your articles. Now, Obsidian really shines at showing you connections with its graph view. Uh, that is excellent. I still think there's some refinements to be made there as far as search and filtering what you see in your graph view, but it is excellent at showing you these connections to your relevant ideas that you've had or the relevant thoughts that you've had on content that you've consumed. DevonThink just doesn't do that as well. Ultimately for me, what it comes down to is that DevonThink is a storage for other people's thoughts and Obsidian is a storage for my thoughts. When I want to think deep about an idea, when I want to dig into what 
like what I think or something inspires me to some new thoughts or say, oh, this idea here is related to this idea over there. And I've made this connection between two sources that goes in Obsidian. If it's an article I just I'm interested in, right, I saved a bunch on time blocking with OmniFocus last night. Um, different forum posts, different articles, different stuff, uh, of course, from Learn OmniFocus, that stuff all went into Dev and Think. Any notes I take on it as I'm learning will go in Obsidian. That's it. That's how I divide the two. That's how I use Dev and Think for other people's thoughts, Obsidian for my thoughts, and why I think that that's how they're suited to really work well. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. If you loved it, you can subscribe, hit the bell, and YouTube will let you know when things happen on my channel. But turn off your device notifications so that you can get your work done, stuff like that. And if you really love the channel, you can go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, where you can support the channel. Make sure videos keep coming. Have an excellent day.